Hey everybody, Chris here for Frosty Productions, and um, today I'm just going to be doing a uh, quick tutorial on ASCII art and Pixelmator. I got a request on how to, or on how I made one of the backgrounds that was in one of my videos. I believe it was this background here. You can see it's like uh, little letters and whatnot make up the Apple logo and the word Apple. So I'm just going to show how to do that real quick. It's pretty easy. Um, so just go ahead and open up Pixelmator create a new uh, file it's good uh, works best if you have a uh, black background so I'm just gonna do command I and invert this white to black add a new layer um, grab your text tool here draw out a pretty good size box that can be whatever size you want and then you want it for the Apple logo to make it it's just option shift K and uh, my text right now is black so I'm going to highlight this and just change it to white so you guys can see it. So here we have it. I have an Apple logo. I'll make it a little bit bigger too. Actually, I'll make it even bigger. The bigger the better. Alright, that's good enough. Um, so I have an Apple logo here and I want to convert this to say ASCII art. All you have to do is, uh, well first you have to go over here to your layers you want to right click and uh, do convert into pixels this makes it so you can no longer edit it with the text tool it's just essentially an image um, then you want to go up to uh, filter quartz composer stylize and then ASCII art you'll see here that it'll convert it into um, ASCII pretty much just like that background I had you can with this amount you can control how big the letters are or how small but if it's small it kind of defeats the purpose of it. it just looks like little pixels I like to have find a healthy medium like right there and uh, you can change the color of it too whatever you want let's do uh, uh, let's try red okay looks good hit OK and then say uh, if you look at this one here I have a little glow effect going on around the edges this is very easy to do all you have to do here is right click on this and hit duplicate and then go to uh, the one below it you want to go to filter blur Gaussian you can give it uh, some Gaussian blur here however much you want to give it um, however like whatever you think looks good something like that's pretty cool and uh, yeah it's pretty much all you have to do and say you want to like rotate this like I have it my background here just uh, uh, shift or hold down shift and click on the other one above it so you can select two of them and go to uh, transform you gotta go around the outer edge so you have the little round uh, cursor thing and you can just turn it put it however you want um, for this what I just did was uh, I got a, I got the special Apple font and I just fit the a into like the Apple here and then I just rotated it to be on an angle like that. But yeah, that's all there is to it, really. Um, thanks for watching.